Hey everyone, and welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today we will create a YouTube comment display box animation, in After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Okay, so let's get started. Go to composition and create new composition. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, with 60 frames per second, and let's name the comp to YouTube comment. Now click on OK. Now enable the title action safe option from here. And then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Make sure, that your fill is set to solid, and stroke is set to none. Then click on OK. Now just make a rectangle shape, like this. Let's name this shape layer, as YouTube comment shape. Now click on that, and enable the round corners option. Then open the round corners tab, and change the radius value to around 18. Now we don't need title action safe option, so just disable it. Now import these files to this project. You can download these files from the link in the description below. So please check this out. Now drag your logo to the timeline. Then right click on your logo and pre-compose it. Select leave all attributes option, and click on OK. Now press S to open scale, and make the scale value to around 7. Place your logo on the shape layer, and align it perfectly, that it fits well. Now again go to the tools, and hold and select the ellipse tool. And now make sure that your fill is set to none, and stroke is set to solid. Make the stroke color to around this color code and click OK. Then make the stroke size to 1. Then hold SHIFT, and try to make perfect circle. Now let's name this shape layer, as circle. Now right click on the blank space, and create a new text layer. Type U text or channel name. Then place it on the shape layer. You can download this font from the link in the description. Change the text size to around 35. and choose the font color to black. Change the style of font to bold. And align it perfectly. Let's customize it a little bit. It's perfect, looks good to me. Now again right click on the blank space, and create new text layer. Also, align it below the other text layer. Change the font style to regular.
and change the font size to around 30. Now it's time to import our YouTube like button to our timeline. And then, press S to open scale. And change the scale value to around 5. And place it onto the shape layer. Now go to the effects and presets window, and search for fill effect. Apply this effect to our like button. and change the fill color, to around this color code. Now switch back to our project window. Then select like button layer and press Ctrl plus D, to make the duplicate of it. Then press R to open rotation and change the rotation value to around 180 degrees and then align it onto the right perfect now just rename both like button to up and down so that we don't get confused. Now once again right click on the blank space, and create new text layer. Now this time, write in capital letters, reply. And place it onto the shape layer, behind the like buttons, like this. Now set this font color, to same as like button color. And change the font size, to around 25. Now again go to project window, and drag the reply down button PNG, to the timeline. Then again go to effects and presets window, and apply fill effect to this layer. And apply the same color as like button. Now press S to open scale. And set the scale value to around 2. And place it onto the shape layer, behind reply word. Perfect. Looks good to me. Now import our YouTube tick mark PNG to the timeline. Then select the tick mark layer and press S to open scale and change the scale value to around 8 and place it onto the shape layer behind your channel text name. Then press T to open opacity, and set the opacity value to select these three PNG photo and pre-compose it and name it as pictures 
and click on OK. Now select all the layers and right click and pre-compose it. Name it as main comp and click OK. Now select the main comp and press P to open position. Go to around 1 second and add a keyframe on it. Then switch back to 0 second and change the position value to around this. Now select both keyframes, right click on them, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Then go to graph editor and change the curve something like this. Select both keyframes, go to around 9 seconds. Then press Ctrl plus C to copy it, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then select both the last keyframes, right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, and select time reverse. Now press 0, to run preview this animation. Now again go to effects and presets window, and search for drop shadow. Apply this effect to our main comp layer, and change the softness value to around 121. Now our whole animation is complete. You can download this full project file from the link in the description below, so please check this out. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.